In this demonstration, I will show you how to manually add or update a garnishment and SAGE HRMS payroll on the Pay tab. This video is intended for a user of SAGE HRMS Garnishment Manager. First, navigate to the employee whose deduction you wish to add or modify. Next, locate the deduction on their pay panel. From here, highlight the deduction code you wish to modify. I've got child support here highlighted. Hit F9 on the keyboard. From here, if you hit the blue triangle, this will take you to the optional fields used in calculating the garnishment. On this screen, you can delete rows if you no longer need them. You can also just change the amounts. You can insert additional rows as needed. In this case, it's a child support order. So the, the optional fields that begin with CS are the codes used in the calculation of this garnishment. You also have the ability to hit the radio buttons here for arrears greater than 12 weeks and supporting a second family by double clicking. You can change them to yes or no. These trigger an additional 5% withholding each depending on how they are answered. Once you are finished making your modifications, hit close, save here, and save on the pay panel. If you wish to add an additional garnishment from the pay panel, hit insert, select the deduction code. In my case, I'm going to select child two and hit save. Once it is saved, select the row you just inserted, hit the F9 key. You may wish to change the start date depending on if this is a credit or garnishment and you have several for the employee. The start date will matter on which order is picked up first and so forth. From here, I'm going to select the blue triangle to add the op optional fields used in calculating the new child support order. In my example here, I've set up an additional child support order. The first required field is going to be garnishment type. Without selecting the garnishment type, garnishment manager will not calculate the order. So I selected child support from the optional fields filled in the following information based on the order that I received. You may also have additional fields if you're using reports for AP and any other type of extra reports used for after payroll is complete. So don't forget to include those fields as well. Once you have all of the required fields you need for various reporting and calculation, hit close here, save on this window, and save on their pay panel. That's all you've got to do.